Hi, I'm Dennis Sykes, the Director of Development and Promotion for the Parks and People Foundation. It was founded in 1984. It was founded by an active citizen in Baltimore named Sally Michael. He was interested in a public-private partnership that would support park beautification and community greening effort, as well as providing opportunities for young people to enjoy and engage in park activities. Parks groups providing some small parks grants for beautification projects. We work at the community with community groups that are interested in community greening projects and vacant lots and other community green spaces. And we also impact Baltimore forever with young people. We have volleyball, baseball, soccer, and lacrosse. We serve about 1,200 young people each year. And there are summer enrichment programs that help young people increase their learning during the summer when summer learning loss sometimes they really Public agencies, being city government, we are, have a special relationship with the Department of Recreation and Parks. We work with the Department of Public Works, the Mayor's Office. We work pretty much with all the public agencies in Baltimore. Invested about $50 million in parks programs since our founding. We've served 18,000 young people with our summer enrichment programs, about another 12,000 people with our sports programs. We've provided community greening grants in 45 communities, an annual challenge to earn operating expenses for the coming year. Yeah. My job is to work with public and private corporate and foundation funding sources to secure resources, financial resources, and kind of resources. We our efforts to our partners, to the community at large, and we build relationships around projects where we share promotions, we share resources. Yeah. There's the uh, old-fashioned notion of making the world a better place. Uh, the first job I had when I graduated college was working for the state of Minnesota. And I realized there that while private enterprises have a goal every day to make money for their shareholders and for their company, the goal of public service and the goal of nonprofit service is to make the world a better place. That's why the people who actually execute the youth programs and the greening programs are committed, <laughs> they're brilliant, and they really have an impact. They, I like to say sometimes they do the real financial challenge. The challenge of providing enough resources that you can serve everyone in the community who can take advantage of those resources, the challenges of maintaining quality programs, the challenges of evaluating quality programs. The Urban Resources Institute Air Initiative is a research study based on improving water, water quality and community green throughout the city. It began with some graduate students from Yale University and sort of has evolved into the research arm of urban greening practices, urban environmental, with the man-made and the natural environment in our country. And so we've got research studies going on now, the Baltimore Ecosystem Study, which views the city as an ecosystem, man-made and natural, and other research projects. Immediately is our Community Greening Resource Network, and that's just an organization that helps community gardeners and people interested in community greening with technical assistance, with funding assistance, and by connecting them with groups and others who are doing the same thing. We have a major, on the greening side as well, a large Wind Falls Trail project where we made the Windfall Trail. We put amenities on it to make it more enjoyable and we host events to bring people to the trail. We're gearing up for our summer programs where we do the Super Kids Camp and then we to 60 plus camps, which this year will serve about 4,000 people. Thank you for your time. That's great. Thank you very much.